Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha, and today I want to introduce you to the new Bot Wizard, our latest groundbreaking piece of technology that can help improve and streamline the way that you create bots. The Bot Wizard helps you create bots automatically that trade a particular strategy with all of your entry and exit criteria and basically builds the entire bot for you. I want to show you how it works here today inside of your Option Alpha account. Now, as always, you have the ability to create a brand new bot from scratch, but today I want to show you how to use the new bot wizard if you're a new trader or if you're an existing trader inside of our platform and you want to create a new bot version. So all we're going to do here is click the button to open up the bot wizard. Then just like any normal bot, we would give the bot a name like Kirk's new bot. We give the bot an icon and then connect it to a particular account like our paper trading account or any of our live trading accounts at any of our broker partners. Of course, we always have to give any bot that we create an allocation to tell it how much we want the bot to trade. And then once we do that, we're entering into the bot wizard territory. Here we can set things like entry frequency. So how often should the bot open new positions? You can choose from frequency settings like sequential, which is one position at a time with no overlapping positions, enter positions weekly, monthly, or quarterly. Again, these are very simple settings to help you as a new user create your first or next bot inside of your account. You can always go in and modify or edit or make custom variations of this inside of your bot once you create it. Next, we're going to set up our position details. This is where we can tell the bot what symbol and what underlying we eventually want to trade and what strategy we're looking for. In this case, we could do something like a short put spread. As soon as we change any of the fields here, you notice that all of the available options open up. So for a short put spread, we have additional legs that we have to select and the expiration and amount. Here you can use any of the pre-filled recipes that we offer inside of any of the leg or strike criteria. This also helps inside of the bot wizard to introduce new traders to our recipe system, a way to use just natural language to determine how the bot gets built and what decisions it makes. In this case, we'll target expirations that are at least 30 days out and we'll switch it from any series which would include weeklies to only trading the monthly contracts. Once we're good to go here, we simply hit save and now that new change to our expiration has been reflected. Also, we can set any of the criteria for our specific legs. In this case, we can leave the short put spread, the short put leg as the 30 delta, but we might want to make a modification to how the long put leg is added. Here again, we can just simply select the actual field and then choose from any of the available recipes. In this case, we can choose to use a long put leg that is $3 below our short put leg that we have. So we just use our natural language recipe here to make any changes to any of the fields or inputs that we use. Once we're good to go here, we simply hit save and now that's added to our position details. So again, we're telling the bot that we want to trade an SPY short put spread eventually. That's 30 days out from expiration, only the monthly contracts, selling the short put leg at a 30 delta and then buying the long put leg around $3 below the short put leg. The next thing that we have to set here is the contract or the amount that we want the bot to trade. In this case, again, we have a couple decisions that we can use. We can trade one contract at a time up to a certain amount of risk or some percentage allocations of the bot's capital or available capital left for trading. Again, this gives you the, a lot of the ability to highly target how you want positions to be entered. In this case, we'll just simply leave the default as one contract. Now that we've told the bot wizard how often we want the bot to enter positions and what ultimate position we'd like the bot to enter, we can scroll down here and set all of our entry and exit criteria. Now this is the really fun part because you get to use the decision recipes here and then once you're ready, the bot gets created automatically for you inside of your account. You just simply tell the bot wizard what you want the bot to do to filter out any entry criteria before positions are opened or any exit criteria to close positions. So for this particular example, let's add some entry criteria. The first thing that we might want to add is to check and see if the symbol is currently trading above its 200 day moving average. Notice that the symbol is automatically filled in for you because you selected SPY. And then we can use the variables here to modify any of the decision recipes 
to check and see if the symbol's price is currently above its 200-day moving average. We can also use additional entry criteria. In fact, there's no limit to how much you can do here inside of the actual wizard. We can add additional entry criteria like checking to see if S&P's IV rank is also trading right now above 50. So if S&P's IV rank is above 50 and the S&P price is above the 200 day moving average, we would allow the bot to enter a new position. Notice that when we add multiple entry criteria to our bot wizard, we get the ability to use and or decisions. We can take this one step further and we can also create group decisions right here inside of the wizard. We can create another group decision and check and see if the price has increased a certain dollar amount above the close yesterday before we get into a position or whatever you want to do for your entry criteria. Let's actually switch this down to check and see if the price has decreased at least one dollar since yesterday's close. Again, whatever criteria you want to put in, it's totally up to you and your particular strategy. Now you can see that we create another grouped set of criteria right here inside of the bot wizard. Now let's go to our exit criteria. We've told the bot exactly how we wanted to exit, enter the position. Now we can tell the bot how we wanted to manage the position. So we simply go here to add our decision recipes that manage existing positions. Notice that we can check for things like the position return. So we can check and see if the position return is ever greater than 50%. This would be our profit taking level that we would add. So this is one scenario in which the bot could exit the position. But that may not be the only time that we want the bot to exit the position. What if the position also expires in less than two market days? Notice that we can again just use our very simple decision recipes here and use additional grouped or split decisions. We can in this case exit the position if the position return is greater than 50% or if the position expires in less than two market days. Again, there's no limit to how many different decision criteria you could use or the groups that you could create here inside of the bot wizard. Once you're totally set with your new strategy, all you simply need to do is then go to the button here to create your bot. Your bot has now been automatically created on the back end using all of the criteria and settings that you put into the simple bot wizard. You can go over and view your bot right now and you can see inside of the automation tab that your automations have been correctly created for you inside of this new bot. You have your entry scanner here, which is checking all of the important criteria that would lead it down the path of opening a new position. The bot simply starts running the automation, checks to see if the bot can open a new position, basically has room to open a new position, that the bot has not already opened a position this week, and then the bot goes through some entry criteria. You'll notice that this is all the same entry criteria that you were used to, in addition to some custom entry criteria that we add automatically for you. In this case, we always automatically add entry criteria to make sure that the opportunity you're looking for is actually available to trade. The contracts and the strikes and the expiration is actually available and then all of your entry criteria can be met. Again, this is our way of helping you bridge the gap in building your bots and automations right here inside of your account. Now, because this is your new bot that you created from the bot wizard, you can of course mod modify and edit any of these fields that you want right here inside of your automation editor. Let's say you wanna change this IV rank to be above 75. Well, you just simply make that change and then hit save and you're good to go with your new entry criteria. You can save all of these changes here and you can see that the new entry criteria is present and reflected inside the automation editor. If all those entry criteria are met and the bot is monitoring those for you as it scans for new opportunities, then it would appropriately enter the new position that you designated. Notice again here that all of the information has been automatically filled in for you using the bot wizard. Again, you can make any changes or modifications here as you see fit. Once you're good to go, you simply can save your scanner and then let's take a look at our exit monitor. Now notice inside of our exit monitor automation that we've already automatically added a position loop for you. This automatically repeats through every position that the bot has and checks all of the exit criteria for each position one by one. This means if you have multiple positions, it will independently check all the exit criteria that would lead it down the path of closing the position one by one, each position at a time. 
In this case, we've told the bot to close the position if the return is greater than 50% or if the position expires in less than two days. Again, you can make any changes or modifications right here inside of your exit monitor. Additionally, you can also add even more decisions and actions down additional paths and create even more customized versions of this bot. Again, the bot wizard is here to help streamline the process of creating your first strategy and getting your first idea into an automated format. Again, you're free to add and modify, create clones and add additional scanners, monitors, or events to your bot once it's created. Again, this is your bot that was just created using a, the bot wizard. Once you're good to go, all you simply have to do is simply turn on your automations and your new bot is ready to start running.